Alrighty then. Hey, this is Megalovaniac yet again, and I'm going to be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, now, uh, I feel like I have some explaining to do just looking at this fucking opening. Um, so, truth is, I don't actually know much about this game. Except I've been told by a number of people that it is not just a standard visual novel, it's just different somehow. I don't know the details, I know a good friend of mine considers it to be one of his favorite games now, and it's been played on a number of channels, although I've not watched anything of it. But based on that opening, it looks like a standard visual novel. However, I didn't catch it on recording, but when I first started up the game, it made me agree to, uh, I don't know, the sort of... It, a warning, agree that I can play this game and that I'm not depressed or anything like that. So that's always a good start. Um, yeah, I was saying be prepared for like disturbing content, all that. I'm not sure what this actually has going for it, but it seems to have gotten the internet's att attention for a while now, and I thought it was just going to, you know, fade like anything else, but yeah, it seems to have become a little bit of a sensation by now, or rather the sensation's starting to fade. I'm still kind of interested though, so eh, I decided I'd give it a shot. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to play, downloaded this a while ago, and, was like, and thought, you know, let's give it a shot. So let's get right into it. Um, clicking now. Enter my name. Uh, my name is, at least, well, it's not my name, but everybody calls me Ben. Uh, okay. By the way, the reason why I said clicking now, I didn't actually do an audio sync because I wanted to catch that audio at the very beginning because I felt like it's important to the game. Okay. Now, hmm. I'm just debating about whether I'm going to read the text aloud and what I think what I'll read is just anything that isn't void, like, uh, isn't an actual character. Because I feel like reading actual characters' lines could actually take away from it in a lot of these games. Either way, though, I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally obliv oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long? I had friends like that, I haven't talked to them in years. So... Yay? Uh, at least I can relate to that. Um... Uh, we used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Wow, you're a great friend! However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Okay, so you're the one with the kind of pinkish hair. Uh-huh. Oh, I guess she couldn't have overslept that much. Um, uh, maybe only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Uh, apparently I was, but that was not my choice. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Um, I guess we've been friends forever. People probably know that we're not dating. I wonder if I can press space to continue? Cool, I don't want to have my mouse on screen too often. Uh, whatever you say, Sayori. I don't feel like I should even voice my character, because it apparently has different opinions than me, so... I don't know, voice my character seems off at times. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. Um, apparently I'm going to be joining Doki Doki Literature Club just based on the name of the game. Hmm. Apparently I've agreed to this. I'm sure it's possible that I did in one or of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Okay, whoever I am, I'm apparently a bit of a prick. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on average while spending my free time on games and anime. Okay, maybe this is a little bit more like me than I thought. I... I did not have any social skills before college, but that is beside the point. Oh, well, at least 
she's very caring. Yeah, that could never happen. I do like this music, though. It's kind of catchy. Hmm. Why do I get myself lectured by such a carefree girl? Hmm. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. Just seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. I'm still kind of doubting that these people are actually friends. School day is ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. Matter of fact, my things, I stare blankly at the wall, uh, looking for an ounce of motivation. Yeah. I don't know, I'm getting tired of actually reading this text because reading text leads to me just kind of that being all I do, and that kind of defeats the whole point of having commentary, I think. At least, how to put it. In a text-based game, it makes it so I can't really commentate if all I'm doing is reading the text. It makes it so I'm just reading an audiobook for you guys instead of commentating. Although occasionally I pause the audiobook and start commentating, which makes it so the game goes very slow. Like this, like when I pause right now. Hmm. So, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say you're in the literature club. And again, with me being a prick. Okay, well, that was fairly obvious. Wait, if she's not interested in literature, why is she press Oh, whatever. Oh, okay. Wait, if she inherited the title of vice president, it, who got president? Okay. My school didn't have an anime club growing up, or they did have a literature club, although I never joined it. I would rather be in a literature club over an anime club, even though I watch more anime than I read books. Mostly because, um, people in anime clubs are mostly incredibly socially awkward, which does not help. Yeah, I don't know the character well enough, but I don't know, I'm not very motivated by cupcakes, because sweets aren't usually good. I, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of sweets. I have to admit, while playing this game, I'm just wondering at what point is it going to surprise me? Because I keep being told there's something very weird about this game, but I don't know what. Girl one, okay. So I'm guessing by coincidence all of the club members are women except for me. Okay, for a second there I thought that third one was actually a cat girl of some sort because the... I don't know, in two separate areas I thought the way her hair peeks up, I'm pointing at the screen, that's not doing anything. Here, I'll point with my mouse. I thought these were ears at first, then I thought these were ears, I was like, oh, okay, not a cat girl. Okay, that's fine with me. Yeah, um... Sure, let's go with that. Wait, so I'm guessing there's gonna be choices at some point in this, because so far I haven't been able to make any. I'm going to guess that the choices actually really matter in this game, however, I'm... Not sure. I haven't played a lot of visual novels. I think I played one years ago, and like halfway through another. I have played a little bit of Kadawa Shoujo, but not much. Wait. I get confused as to who's talking. 
Okay, Sayori, Natsuki, and Yuri. Wait, Sayori, not Sayori. Where have I heard the name Sayori before? Oh, that was the name in Persona 5. Okay. And Mon... Monica? Right. Um, wait. No? Okay. Sorry, I'm getting these characters confused so fast. Okay. Monica is the not-cat girl. Don't remember the name of the girl that I was supposed to have grown up with. Okay. Okay. Okay, wait. So your name is Natsuki, I think. Okay, Sayori. Sayori is the one I grew up with. Natsuki is... Very pink hair. You know, I'm just gonna call her Loli because that's pretty clearly what archetype she is. And then Yuri is the tall one with purple hair. I had a feeling that was going to be a choice, actually, that si that said either Sayori or uh, Miss Not a Cat Girl. Um, I thought I was going to have to make a choice about that, and that was somehow going to matter greatly to the story. Because, you know, little things like that always make a huge difference in life. Hmm. I kind of wish it had a picture of the cupcakes, because I'm curious about what these cat cupcakes look like. Hmm. She said she made it herself, so I assume that's the case. Wait, no, she said she brought them. Oh, yay, so... Not like I... Okay, so we have Sundere... Sundere Loli, got it. Um, yes, we. you have heard that in literally, like, every show with Sundere ever. Yeah, okay, this is like... She is literally just archetypes upon archetypes. Sudre Loli in every way. Got it. Okay, uh, next, what archetype are the rest of them? Okay, well, we have the best friend you grew up with. Um, Sudre Loli, which is a combination of archetypes. I'm guessing Miss Popular Girl is also class president, because, you know, that's how that tends to work out. As far as you, though, I don't know. Okay, if we had tea in band, I would call this a... Ne you know, never mind, I'm not gonna bother making that reference. Um, okay, so she's shy girl, got it. sometimes tea. I don't drink it too often, though. I used to have a tradition, actually, before recording, where I would have a glass of tea before I before I ever started. It helped, like, relax my throat, I guess. I also had a really weird uh, tradition for a long time before recording, where I'd actually take a sip of vinegar. I don't know why, but I always did. That's kind of got me in the mood to record. I thought about starting it up again, because I have trouble sometimes getting into that recording mood, but that always did it in the past. I don't know, I guess it was the shock of it. Well, at least they're nice about it. And again, I'm still wondering, how is this going to go weird? And in what way is it going to go weird? Wait. Join the debate club, but can't stand politics. How does that work out? Then... Okay... Okay, so yep, thought it... Uh, Alright, so she... Class president, girl... Rather, 
not a cat girl as class president. Then we got purple haired shy girl. Just a friend we grew up with and lowly sundering. Got it. I find that starting a new club is a lot more interesting than joining an existing one. So is this gonna be about like trying to make the club as good as possible? What happens if there's like a choice and I just get to outright decline joining? What happens? Mostly fiction. Oh, come on. Give me a choice. Manga. Okay, that's fair. So let me guess. Sundre Loli is a uh, closet weeb. Or, assuming this actually takes place in Japan. Is it weeaboo for Japan? Or is it just... Ah, whatever. Uh, apparently, I'm saying that could change. That, I really agree with. Actually, my favorite se series of books so far is The Inheritance Cycle. In some of them. Some of them are just kind of, you know, generic, but again, like, referring to Inheritance. That one is really... Oh, that world has a lot of depth to it, and characters that, while simple at first, grow a lot over the course of the stories, to the point where they're barely recognizable by the end. Which is, I, I think, is one of the best things you can do with it. With writing, that is. You know, I can kind of relate to that. The whole concept of being able to talk more about stories than, you know, life. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really name any of those that I've uh, read. I mostly just read fantasy, in fact. I read a couple of, like, historical fiction books, but they're not that interesting to me. Some of them can be. Wait. Hmm. Hmm. I've never read a horror book. I actually really want to try it, but the problem is most of my, um... Most of my reading these days takes place in the form of audiobooks while I'm driving. <laughs> Fair enough, so you're using reading as a sort of escape, which I can completely respect. By the way, if you guys have any sort of, like, horror books you can recommend, I would really appreciate that, because I kind of want to find one that'd be good to read. Maybe something to read late at night. I've actually been thinking about playing a horror game recently, but... I don't know. I feel like if I were to play a horror game, I'd need to have a webcam for it, but... Eh. But she writes. Uh, I guess the little girl with pink hair as well as cupcakes and is apparently a Sunre for some reason. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, poetry's impressive. I'm not really much of one for poetry, though. Yeah, no, I completely understand. <laughs> Sorry if I'm being pretty quiet. I'm mostly just reading this. This is actually... I'm wondering where this is going to go, because I know it's going to get weird, but this feels like the most generic setup they could have gone with, just about. 
Wait, I thought if the, I guess literature club technically writing a poem counts. Hmm. Wait, uh, I have not agreed to join this club yet. However, I most likely would in real life. So sure. Well, they all look upset now. Hmm. Okay, so it's still not a choice yet, so this is required. I was wondering if it was going to be a choice, but I guess not. Is this going to be one of those games that has very few choices or that really impact the story or I don't know. No choices yet make me think that. Also, I'm glad I decided to stop reading things aloud because we would be only half as far as we are now and so far nothing has happened. Except for, you know, exactly what you can predict happening from the very beginning of the game. Yeah, the idea of actually writing a poem. I'm glad I don't have to do it. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry I keep saying this, but I'm waiting for things to go strange here, but... I don't know, if it doesn't happen relatively soon... Wait, are you all at my house now, or...? Oh, is this going to be one of those choose a girl and date them things? Mm. I'm I'm not sure how I feel about playing an actual date. Wait. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Um. You remember when I said I was glad I didn't actually have to write the poetry? I assumed it would just be, you know, automatic. Massacre, okay. Um, sorry. Hold up a moment. I was saying, I, did, I was glad I didn't actually have to write it. So it's something about choosing a club member. I noticed that class president isn't on here. Uh, you. Does that work? Nope, clicking on you doesn't do, actually do anything. So... Is this literally the first word I'm going to write? Let me make sure history on this. No, that doesn't actually show me. Um, joy, vibrant, excitement. Am I choosing a topic right now? Infinite puppy? No, that can't. I'm kind of tempted to choose massacre because if this, this is, I'm wondering if this is gonna somehow make things go weird. If I chose massacre, um, pleasure. Hmm. You know what? When all else fails, go with the animal. Puppy. Wait, did they re did they react to that? Or was that just... Lust? Ambient cheer? Skirt? Disown? Party? Eternity? Uh, um... Cute puppy? Okay, she's responding to that. So apparently she responds to cute. This isn't poetry, though. I've written apparently puppy and kawaii. Uh, pink, unrequited, landscape, disorient, bubbles, flee, <laughs> death, what the? Do I write cute puppy death? Th that? Mmm. I don't want to write about the death of a cute puppy. But at the same time, that seems like it'd be such a bizarre twist on things. How would that go? You know what? Let's do it. Why not? Oh, bum. Why is death fascinating to best friend growing up? Frightening papa. Um, lazy socks. Variants. This isn't poetry. This is choosing random words. Uh, um. 
I guess it would be scary. Okay, she likes scary. Um, I already chose cute and just in Japanese, I guess. Um, this right electricity after passion pain. Cute? I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm about to start suicide. Okay. Um. I'm about to start choosing at random. I'm, I don't, this is so disjointed. I don't even know what to choose. Uh, sadness. Uh, she likes sadness too. Uh, climax. Um, fear, hurt, existence, headphones. Treasure, melody, rose, hurt, mouse. Mouse, I like mice. Anger, tears, magic, blankets, games, raindrops, meager, horror. Uh, for a second there, I thought that said vaccination. Uh, vacation, why not? I, okay, growing up friend girl, I feel like you have no sort of correlation between things whatsoever. Uh, grief, friends, dance, pop, graveyard, peace, breathe, embrace, friends, uh, friendship. She also likes fr friendship, death, and you know, those definitely go together. Boop, boop, has to be boop. Lollipop, uh, adventure, cheeks, wonderful, laugh, jump, comfort, awesome, summer, cheeks, why not? Inferno anime, heartbeat, poof. I, what am I even doing at this point? Flying, this portion, is there any sort of correlation? What is this even going to do? Because this is my first 20 choices, apparently. Rainbow, um, scars, tragedy, entropy. What? I don't know why I find this so entertaining. Time, kiss, despise, twirl, vanilla. Doki Doki, sure, that's something. Um, I don't know what Doki Doki means. I know what Toki Doki means. That means sometimes, but I don't know what Doki Doki means. Eh, whatever. Uh, shopping memories forgive. Milk cry. Determination! Filled with a sense of determination. Uh, depression. Destiny. Anxiety. Silly. Candy. Empty. Email, why not? Why is she excited about email? Contamination. Giggle. Bouncy, um, dream, vivid, giggle, why not? Apparently I chose the ones that Miss Sundere Loli likes. So what the hell is this poem going to be? I'm really curious now. Uh, I guess I'll move my mouse off screen now. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I should just save my atrocity of a poem for next episode. Because I have been recording for uh, about half an hour now. So yeah, I don't even know what that's going to achieve. But I guess I'll save now and continue this in the next episode. Oh wow, that's a lot of save slots. Okay. I probably should have saved before writing the poem. Because that's how choices in these things work. And whatever, I'm sure the poem doesn't actually affect anything in the story, right? Either way, um, that's going to be the end of this episode. I'm going to record another session of this because I'm really curious about what that poem's going to make. And that's about all I'm really interested in at this point. And still wondering where this is going to go weird because I don't know what to expect from this game. But, um, either way, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time when we see my atrocity of a poem. See you then.